Hello awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the monstrous, I'm sorry, the Frost Monstream, uh, which is the next short story in the Return to Lankmar collection for you folks. It is written uh, it's a, a while ago. His first book, uh, it was published in the series in 1939, and he published a lot of these short stories and novellas, and in fact there's actually only a novel in it too that we've already read in this. I'll link you to this collection in the in, in the comments below in case you're interested in checking it out. He published actually every decade from the 30s, starting in the 30s until the 90s when he died in 1992. So that's pretty cool. He's also in the uh, Hall of Fame for the science fiction writers uh, and fantasy writers of America. So that's pretty cool too. So we're going to be doing a look at the next short story, again, The Frost Monstream. And the name of that comes from The Frost. And Monstream is a portmanteau of monster and trireme or quadrireme or, or a vireme ships. So that's where it comes from. And we'll find that out later on. So basically what's winding up happening in this short story, it's, it's about 30, uh, it's five pages long. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes last night for me to knock it out for the second time. Although I read the first one like 20 years ago and I don't remember income just after college. I actually don't remember it, uh, but I like this one I'm actually pretty good. So let's get started with it. So what's going to wind up happening is this is that our two main characters, Fafford and Grey Mouser, who are thieves in the giant city of Lankmar. Are, are having a time talking about stuff and Fafford's like, we should start, you know, we're getting to middle age. He's changing a little bit. Uh, and so forth, and he's like, we should start looking for, you know, you know, someone, uh, a wife rather than, you know, just, just the next woman of the day or the next adventure of the day and start, start to settle down and so forth. And the Green Mouse was like, no, we shouldn't be. Um, and so forth. And, but, but anyway, uh, then in walk two women uh, from another, they're roughly their age. They aren't these younger people that they're trying to chase around. Uh, but they seem like they're more their age, uh, getting closer to middle age and so forth. And then, th so they sit down with them. Uh, they have a drink uh, on the on something called the Rhyme Isles ticket, uh, agreed to it, uh, and so forth. And then basically what's going to wind up happening uh, is, is that the, these two people serve the Frost Isle uh, as their voice. And, uh, and it is a, a request uh, for a, comp a commission to, to bring together, to put together a troop of people to sail to the Rhyme Isle and help to defend it against some uh, some Eastern folks that sail the seas and are there to raid it. So they're there to defend Rhyme Isle against uh, the bad guys. And so that's basically the core concept. And then they're going to recruit uh, a ship full of folks, um, two ships actually, they're likely to lead one. Uh, and then they sail for the Rhyme Isle and things happen along the way. And then that's it. Uh, that's a short story. I like this actually really a lot more than the previous one, if you recall. Uh, the previous one I only gave a six out of it. Uh, but this one's longer. It felt it's, it felt it definitely had a more epic feel to it. I like the monster trireme, uh, monster trireme combination uh, that they're fighting against in the end uh, with a frost concept. I like that a lot. So I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed it. So I'm giving you a seven and a half out of ten, and rather than the six out of ten, I give last two short stories too. Uh, so I like this a lot more uh, for you folks. I thought this was pretty good and pretty good use of its tanks. Well written. It's got some nice combat scenes in it, although they're pretty fast. Uh, it definitely is a fun thing. Uh, so there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. So we'll go ahead now. Again, the channel's name: "The Worst Thing About New Books" is a quote by a French philosopher named Jacques Schubert who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old ones. As so somebody who's this influential in the Hall of, you know, he's in the Hall of Fame, he's won a ton of Hugo Awards, he's won Stokers and his horse stuff. Uh, he's definitely an awarded big, big name, but he died decades ago, and so he's and a big genre. So he's definitely somebody who's a passionate mind. So going back and doing a deep dive into this stuff is definitely a key part of this channel. Also, he's this this series and him in particular are very influential on modern fantasy. You can't read a modern fantasy work without his influence. For example, his thief characters of Fafford and Grey Mouser that are the key protagonists of this series that started again in 1939 uh, in a pre-Tolkien era. Uh, are key key things uh, in the concepts of what thieves look like in today's concept. So if you're playing a thief class in a, in a video RPG or a tabletop RPG like Dungeons and Dragons, or you're reading about thief types and, and thief characters in a book or in a novel or in comics, right, or any sort of visual media, then this concept of the thief class and what it looks like is coming straight from this. Also, the giant city that dominates the plane that's seedy like Langmar also dominates uh, a lot of play, places too in, in modern fantasy. So you'll also see that too. Also, the thieves' guild that's from there is lifted whole cloth. Anyway. 
So there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. So again, that's a heavy influences on modern stuff. So have you read uh, the Frost Mon stream? And if so, did you agree or disagree with my seven and a half out of ten? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? Because there's gonna be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I just want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video because we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.